What's going on guys, back at it again, another video. If you're thinking about joining uh, Officer Candidate School or OCS, or just curious about it, or just wanna hear my voice, then you're in the right place. So, I'm gonna be tackling some things that you might have some preconceived notions about, or just common myths, and I'ma validate if it's facts or it's a myth. So stay tuned for more. OCS is just like basic training or boot camp. I'm gonna say that is very false. However, I will say a small thing of truth. Basic training does have a little component of gentleman course with it, where like all you gotta do is kinda just do it, you're gonna pass. However, OCS has no problem kicking you out. They have no problem recycling you. They have no problem, you know, getting you dismissed if you do something wrong, you know. In base training, you have to do something like extreme or really try. They're going to give you multiple, 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 multiple chances in basic training to pass. Even if you suck at running, you're going to still, they're going to still push you through. As long as you one time get it right. You know, base tra uh, OCS, you're going to get that thing two times. If you fail twice, you're gone, you know. And plus, things are not, they're not going to babysit you. They not care. They expect you to already kind of know what the ramifications of. If you act the duty, if you coming in last on the runs, we're not gonna, they're not gonna call to you and say, hey man, like make sure you kind of keep it up. No, you're just gonna be on the OML on the bottom and you're gonna get the worst of your choices on your branch and you're gonna go do your four years and hopefully VTIP into the branch you want later on. But right then, who cares? So it's a little less leniency on that part. Um, OCS is mainly about developing the leadership skills, the critical thinking, decision making. Uh, basic training focuses more on just like the basic training to be a soldier and in more physical conditioning like on the basic level it's to be a soldier as opposed to being a leader so it's challenged in a little bit different ways where OCS will teach you how to take charge and prepare to be take on officer responsibility as opposed to basic training they're teaching how to become a soldier in the US Army so it is myths on that but it is some components of the truth as far as it's like basic training but overall no it's totally different it's an absolute myth as OCS candidates, you have very little room for error to make mistakes, and everything has to be perfect to the highest degree. I'm going to say that is absolutely true. You do have room for error to make mistakes. Yes, you do. But everything do has to be uphold to the highest standard. Because as an officer, all the responsibility does fall on you. If one mistake happens, it can lead to potential catastrophic events. You know, so sometimes you got to do things of the highest level make sure things as perfect as can be because you're going to be supervising other people and you got to be able to not only acknowledge your mistakes but also the other people because nobody's going to say hey nco such and such staff, staff sergeant did this wrong everything's going to be like why didn't you check to make sure that he had this had he had that it's still going to fall on you for you not doing your due diligence so when you go into certain companies in ocs some gonna be a lot more strict than others so i would say the biggest thing is making sure that you pay attention to details from how you make your bed from how you fold your clothes how you follow uh instructions how you put your uh your rucksack together the weight everything is very little it's very little room for error in certain things because integrity is key and how you present yourself and attention to detail is the utmost important importance while you're OCS. So yeah, it is little room for error. However, you are able to make mistakes in OCS. Long as you're improving and you're trying to do things of the highest caliber, you will succeed as far as leading your troops to success as well. It's all about the determination and the trust that you can develop with your former people, your colleagues, and also the people that you're leading as well too. I can't join OCS because I'm too old for it. <laughs> I would say that's absolutely false because you already will have the standard and plus there's age waivers as well too i've seen a lot of older statements in ocs so i see some 45 year olds 37 year olds in there and not to mention like it's not necessarily like how old you are that really matters it's more of like your perspective your maturity how you carry yourself and just your general experience not just military experience to adapt to the environment and you being physically able to handle the strenuous activity that's going to happen some people that are young the ones that really get hurt you be you'll think that the 37 year old 36 year old will be running and they'll pull a hamstring they'll be out of commission for a standard period of time it normally be the young ones in the situation so it depends on what company you in you may have that situation but i would say it's not necessarily the age because once you um have that mindset and you say i, I can do this you you can accomplish whatever you want to accomplish as long as you have that work ethic long as you have the due diligence long as you have that resiliency 
age does not matter as long as you're physically able to do certain things. And even if you're not physically able to do certain things, you do have teammates to help push you over the edge. As long as you're doing your part, you should have no issue at all getting through OCS if you're doing that. So there you have it. Those are some of the myths at Officer Candidate School or OCS that if you're considering going OCS or you're already in the process of going to OCS as far as HSC and you're watching this video, those are some things that you might want to consider while you're in there and just have a fresh perspective on stuff or be aware of what I kind of already adhered to in situations. You can confirm or deny the situations. The main thing about it is be successful is just like just making sure that you're open, you're not an asshole, you have leadership potential, and your willingness to learn and just do better. You know, things are going to be very challenging. The experience is going to be rough, but it's going to be incredibly rewarding when you become commission officers, which is going to be great for you guys. So if you guys have any questions or if you guys have any thoughts that I should add to this video or just other myths or other truths, or even if you don't even agree with what I'm saying, you can put that down in the comments too. That's totally fine with me. I'd love to hear from it talk about it some people can say something i can my answer stuff here you go so thank you for tuning in hit the subscribe button and i'm out go on.